Welcome to the Brother Henry and You Show. Today you will be inspired and motivated, uplifted and edified through the Word of God. Thank you for joining us today. Psalms chapter 107 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His mercy endures forever. Isn't that good news? Yes, it is. Yes. Give <laughs> we <thanks> need them. <laughs> to the Lord for His mercy mm. endures forever. Yes. And I believe that that's so amazing just to just to hear that. Um, sometimes we go through different trials and opposition in life, and uh, and we don't know who to turn to. I want you to know that He's merciful. He's gracious. He's loving. He's just waiting on you, like He did with Peter. He's just waiting on you uh, to come to step out. I want you to know that he's a merciful God. He's a gracious God. He wants to meet your needs today. I am so honored to be here. My name is Brother Henry Harris. I am your host. Today you are watching the Brother Henry and You Show. Today my special guest is Pastor Tammy Souther. She is the senior pastor of Chosen Generation Church here in Joplin, Missouri. I had asked her to come and be an encouragement to you today and thank you Pastor Tammy for being on the program. Thank you and for I, the invite. And at this time we'll turn it over to you. Okay well I'm like uh, the brother here Henry. Amen. Mm -hmm. His mercies are new every morning Amen. and so that should be a word of encouragement to us. That should be a word that no matter what happened in our night season, what happened in our dark season, what happened in our place of devastation, discouragement, defeat, divorce, depression, that His mercies, when we wake up out of it, no matter what time, because it's not, a, it's not on the clock, it's not an on the clock thing. Mm -hmm. God is not an on the clock. He does not minister and work and do according to our time and our schedule mm -hmm. on earth. But he, our times are in His hands. And so it is a word of encouragement that even if you wake up in your night season, in the midnight hour, that you need to know that His mercies are new every morning. Amen. The Word of God tells us, and great is His faithfulness. He never gives up on us. He never quits. He never stops extending. Uh, there's a word in the Bible, you know, that when you study it out, He will run you down and He will overtake you. He will Amen. tackle you, if I can say it like that. <laughs> His love is that passionate. His love is that pursuing of you. And it doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been, what you haven't done, what you haven't been. Uh, God knows the destiny. He knows the timeline of our story. He, he, the Bible tells us that He is the author. So that means He begins it and He is the finisher of our faith. Amen. Man cannot finish us. God is the one that will finish us. His Word will finish us. His Spirit, His blood, His name will finish us. When Jesus hung on the cross, He said, It is finished. And so there comes a point and a time in our life, and that is only when our life is laid down in earth's realm, that we can say, It is finished. And I'm here to encourage you on today. Do not let the enemy, do not let family, do not let uh, church people, do not let business people, whoever you find yourself maybe fighting against in this season, they have no right, they have no legal authorization to tell you you are finished. We are never finished. God is never finished with us until our last breath is taken in earth's realm. And until then, I'm here to tell you on today, he's got to get back up. Mm -hmm. That is the word of the Lord for you. Get back up. The Bible says, though a righteous man fall, not a sinner, mm -hmm. it says, though a righteous man fall seven times, he will get up again. Amen. And so I speak to the four-state region, and I tell you for those that have been counted out, those that have been, been knocked down and knocked out and pressed out and pressed under and pushed out, get up again. There is a church for you, and that is Chosen Generation at 1107 North Prosperity Avenue, and we are meeting in the concession stand area, an uncommon place for an uncommon people. And so we're just glad to be here on today and glad for the open door that God has given us. Praise God. What, what would you like to share today? What, <coughs> what was the Lord speaking to you about? What the Lord spoke to me about this morning, man of God, was out of 1 Chronicles chapter 13, verses 9 and 10. 
And then we're going to end in chapter 14, verse 11. It says, And when they came unto the threshing floor of Shidon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark. For the oxen stumbled, and the anger of the Lord <coughs> was kindled against Uzzah. And he smote him because he put his hand to the ark, and there he died before God. But if you will turn over to chapter 14, verse 11, there's a whole lot that happened between, in those verses between chapter 13, verse 10, and chapter 14, verse 11. And I'm here to tell you on today, there is a lot that has happened between a lot of you out there feel like God is angry at you. You feel like God is, has broken out against you. If you go back in and read the whole chapter of chapter 13, mm -hmm. it speaks of who God was in that chapter because God was angry and He broke out against. But I'm here to tell you on today, according to 1 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 11, So they came up to Baal Perazim, and David smote them there. Then David said, God hath broken in upon mine enemies by my hand like the breaking forth of waters. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal Perazim. So I'm here to tell you on today, you may feel like God has broken out against you because he was angry at you for something he did, but I'm here to tell you the good news of the gospel if you will keep reading the Word and if you will yet allow yourself to be shifted and transitioned from the breaking out against, Amen. God is going to use you as a vessel of God with a Baal Perizim anointing. And He is going to use your hand to hit and to smote your enemies as if they were water. Back in September, I preached this same word at a church in Phoenix, Arizona. And as a prophetic act, God had me get a large bowl of water. And I took my fist and I hit that water. And it was a, a, a visionary uh, thing for people to see how easy it is to break through water. It is easy. And so you need to know that's how easy it is for God to break through your enemies. Mm -hmm. He is the God of ba He is Baal Perizim. And I declare a Baal Perizim over your life. And I declare that he is no longer angry with you. But that he is going to, and he told me this, this Father's Day, he's gonna, his fist is going to hit the enemy as if water in this region. You've not been able to get a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But your Father on Father's Day, your Heavenly Father on Father's Day is going to break through as Baal Perizim in this region over the enemy. And there is going to come, even as water is broken before a child is birthed, there's going to be a breaking of the water this Sunday. You mark my words in this four-state region. And as a result of the breaking of the water, there are going to be sons and daughters birthed in this region mm -hmm. that up until this point could not get their breakthrough. Wow. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you so much. I like how you said um, how a lot of people have that mindset uh, that God is angry with mm -hmm. them. Why do people have that mindset? What, what makes you think, what brings people to I think place? a lot of times it's twofold. It's mm -hmm. what they've experienced with their natural fathers. Mm -hmm. Uh, I grew up with a, with a father that had a very violent temper. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing is for me is I never, a lot of times people will say, well, you know, I see God as my father because he's my heavenly father. Yeah. God spared me of that. Mm -hmm. I, never, I never had that issue mm -hmm. with God. Um, but I think a lot of times it comes from the natural father. Mm -hmm. You know, they, their daddy was angry at them and with them, and so they think God's angry at them and with them. Mm -hmm. He's not. Mm -hmm. He's not. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, and number two, I believe also it is because there are, there are religious and traditional people mm -hmm. that have, have uh, been a false example, if you will, have been a false image, if you will, uh, haven't, haven't revealed the heart of the Father, our Father God. He's a God of love. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of kindness. He's a God of compassion. 
uh, you know, we could go on and on for hours and days speaking of who he is and what he is. And I just believe that people sometimes have encountered, you know, a wrong spirit even in the church mm -hmm. uh, pertaining to them. And so, uh, you know, because in our flesh, you know, the Bible says that the work, one of the works of the flesh is anger. Mm -hmm. And so when people get in their flesh, what do they do when they get frustrated with someone? They display anger towards mm -hmm. them. And so I believe that a lot of people... Have, have instead of encountering the spirit of the living God, they've encountered the flesh of man. Hmm. And so that is just two small reasons of why. <laughs> that's, pro that's profound. <laughs> Amen. That's profound. Well, just like uh, you have mentioned about <clears throat> David, uh, I believe that and he's been through so much stuff in, in the yes, Word of God. Yes, I believe that God hmm. will, like Pastor Tammy said, God will come through. For you yes. uh, as well. This is what I often say in some of my meetings. If you've ever questioned the power of God, if you've ever questioned his goodness, if you ever question, is God going to bring me out of my situation? All you have to do is just look back. Mm -hmm. Look back mm -hmm. at where he's brought you yes, from. Yes, and that's yes. enough carriage right there. So just like God came through for David, he will come through for you today. If you think God is angry at you, God is upset with you, I want you to know that he's not. He loves you with an unconditional Amen. love. And something that just came to my mind, um, sometimes that draws people away from God instead of to him. Yes. And uh, so you just need to know today that he's a God of love. He loves you. Yes. Uh, it was Jeremiah that says that uh, God's love for you is an everlasting love in Jeremiah chapter 31. So just know that today he's not angry with you. He loves you. He's going to come through. For you, you may be looking at your situation right now, and you may be saying, "There ain't no way he's gonna come through." Mm. But I want you to know that he's going to come through for you, big and strong. Yes. Pastor Tammy, as we go to a close, uh, I want you to say a prayer for the people that are watching. Yes. But at the end of your prayer, would you mind um, telling the people about your church, or yes. if you have a website or anything like that, yes. where they can connect? With you? Okay. Well, Father, we just thank you for this opportunity, for this open door, for these few moments that you've given to us. I thank you for everyone that is listening under the sound of our voice. I thank you that, Father, those that you needed to reach, those that you wanted to reach, those that needed encouragement, that, Father, they will go forth with a get-up, with a Baal parasim in their spirit. They will get up with a, no, God loves me. I thank you that your love, the Bible says, is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. So, Father, we thank you for who you are and for what you're doing. We pray a blessing over this four-state region, over every pastor, over every father, everyone that wanted to be a father. Every, every, even this last week, we lost a young father uh, in this region to road rage. Father, we lift that family up to you. We speak life over those children. We speak life, Father God, resurrection life. Let your resurrection power, God, be big and be mighty and be strong. In this situation and circumstance, Father, I declare life and life more abundantly over every father and every son relationship, that, that, that hatred, that anger, that abuse that has, has run rampant in the region, that, Father, this Sunday we will see the high places and the altars and the groves tore down as in Gideon, as in Judges chapter 6, Father God, and that you are the God of a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth chance, God. And we thank you for that today. We are living examples that you do not give up on your sons and upon your daughters. In Jesus' name. And just the information for the church, once again, it's Chosen Generation Church. Uh, we are located at 1107 North Prosperity Avenue. God opened the door for us to be. For some of you that are wondering where that is, uh, God opened a door for us to be at the old Joplin Sports Complex. We are meeting in the concession stand building. Uh, if you come Sunday morning, this Sunday morning we start at 10. Sundays after that we will be meeting at 2 o'clock on Sundays in the afternoon. And uh, at this time the best way to reach me is Facebook. Send me a friend request. We'll, it is we'll put the information okay. On the as well. Yes. Yes, but it's uh, just look me up, Tammy Souther, T A M M I E S O U T H A R D. Just send me a friend request. That is the best way to reach me right now. We're uh, in the process of getting a website up, so that's going to be a, a moment or two before we get that up. But we look forward to uh, 
getting to know those that God is going to send our way because for every people there's a pastor and for every pastor there is a people. Praise In Jesus God. name. God bless you. <laughs> God pastor bless you. you. Thank you for watching the Brother Henry and You Show. If you have enjoyed this program today, visit us on Facebook slash The Brother Henry and You Show. Brother Henry is waiting to connect with you.